Hey, what's going on? Uh, I just did some vacuuming because <laughs> uh, you get a lot of foot traffic here in the garage. So the carpet, the man cave carpet gets really dirty with leaves and twigs. And Well, I had to do some vacuuming. So and you know what that means. I got to do some vacuuming on the carpet. That means I'm going to be throwing down some awesome, in my opinion, keep in mind, my opinion, awesome horror, original horror uh, movie posters. Uh, the, the one sheets so um, I got two of them so I'm just gonna see two uh, posters in this update um, it's posters I've always wanted I love them um, I love every horror poster I have in my collection I, I just I love them all you know from the heavy hitters to the not so welcomed heavy hitters so without further stalling guys uh, the first poster I want to show you I uh, love this 80 slasher, um, always have, and that is Silent Madness in 3D. Um, not hard to find at all, uh, sorry for the glare. Maybe if I turn out this uh, light up here it'll be a little better, because um, it's still daylight, so I still got some light up, light in the garage here. Uh, yeah, that's better. So Silent Madness. Uh, your typical, you know, uh, 27 by 41. I love the graphics. I mean, he's out now. The terror has just begun. Chasing a co-ed through the woods. Um, this is a fun 80s slasher movie. Um, I do like the campy 3D moments that happens in the movie, like when he throws the hatchet. It's just, you can't help but laugh. It's just hysterical. It's nothing of the quality that you'd see in like Friday 13th Part 3, that kind of 3D. It's just, it's a lower budget, so, but I, I think they pulled it off really, with the you know, with the kind of budget they were working with, I think they pulled it off really well. But I've always loved this poster and found it at a, just a really great price. I mean, this one, this is another one that's like a dime a dozen, you know. Um, I wouldn't say it always shows up on eBay, but that's where I got it from eBay but um it kind of took me a while to get a hold of it um but I wouldn't say it's as common as like uh Madman or you know posters like that I wouldn't say it's that common of a poster um but there's that guys awesome stuff another one I do consider a heavy hitter and uh you, you guys I got this one for like a steal, and I got these posters like a month back, so I just haven't made a video on them until finally getting around to doing it now. But the next poster is of one of my favorite Cronenberg uh, movies, it is Scanners, an original 27 by 41 uh, theatrical uh, one sheet awesome movie um it's got some funky folds so it's not like in perfect condition and it's folded it is it is um not um hard to find one that's actually rolled but you know i got this for a great deal and i didn't mind that it was folded so so i love the artwork awesome stuff an original i'll come down here and show you like the fine print um fine print you know and it's got a little wear on the fold lines but I mean this poster is just old and it's not perfect somebody like wrote a three right there in marker so of course that lessens the value a little but I don't care I mean it's not a big deal it'll be covered up when it gets framed and uh, I'm not trying to sell these posters anyway so I love these posters and be keeping them so Ah, got out of out of focus there. So, scanners. You guys are not gonna believe how much I got this. I won this poster for. Nobody threw down a bid, probably because they could, you know, find a one in better quality without the funky fold line there off the side. I did frame this, and it looks fantastic. So, um, but back to what I was saying. Uh, I got this guys for eleven dollars. Eleven dollars. Eleven dollars. This one, oh man, that was like a month ago. I don't remember. 
it wasn't too much. It was like uh, twenty something, twenty, maybe twenty five dollars because it's in really good shape. Like, but there you go, guys. Silent Madness, awesome eighties trashy slasher trashiness, and then uh, an amazing movie here. Uh, brilliant idea for a horror movie. Scanners. So. Michael Ironside. That's one movie I just don't want people to touch as far as like trying to like remake this kind of movie. I just um I don't know. You know, um I'm not against, you know, remakes or anything like that. And I've got a few and quite a few in my collection, so um I just love the movie and it's just Michael Ironside, you know, how can you it's like with Robert England, with him being Freddie. You just some things you just can't. You just you should just leave alone, you know. Um, and this is a classic, uh, in my opinion. That um, you know, hey, make sequels. God, if you got to make a prequel, do that. But just uh, leave them alone. You know, it's the old cranky horror fan in me coming out right now. So. But that's the poster update, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And uh, as always, thanks for watching and everything. And take it easy. Oh, gosh, before I forget, um, I should get in my first uh, creep show. I'm calling it a test print because I wanted to make sure the quality is good on the, on the, on the prints. I should be getting in my first creep show uh, print Monday. So once that, once that gets in, I'll, I'll give you guys an update on price and shipping and I want to be I want to be cool on the shipping I want the shipping to cost the same for everybody uh, whether it's in states or overseas so so anyway later guys